Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna Lee. If you have a Samson top load washer like this one and you pretty much start your machine and you see that it's trying to lock and it has a trouble locking and then also it's having trouble filling up with water. As you can see clearly right here, it's trying to lock mm -hmm, and nothing. And then it's no water filling into the machine. Yeah. Then you pause it. Then you decide, okay, let's reboot this sucker. Mm-hmm. And then you plug it back in. Then you went ahead and you restart it again. Turn it on, put start just to see if it worked. Yep. And uh, it's still trying to lock. Yep, nothing. Then clearly, no water is filling in. Yep, this is what you're gonna have to Turn do. off the machine, unplug it, and then you're gonna go to the back of the machine, you're gonna screw that metal tab that's covering the wires. Then you're gonna screw six little screws of the white covering on the top of the washer. And then you're gonna take off that white covering and put it over to the side. As you can see, I already unscrewed the six little screws. Yeah, just put that cover over to the side. You want to go back and you want to locate that white drum. Mm-hmm. That white drum right there. Right behind it, it is a sensor. That sensor, you want to see that two little tabs on the side. You want to squeeze that sensor, okay, on the side. And then you want to use your other hand to pull it apart once you're squeezing it at the same time, okay? Now the bigger part of the sensor, you want to see that hole behind that drum. You want to try to push that through it. And that's where you want to go to the front of the machine and tape the door down. Once you tape the door down, you're going to use a butter knife, a spatula, a flathead screwdriver, anything to lift all around the edges of the tab of the dryer to pop it open. Okay. Once you lift that up, you're going to pull it towards the front, towards you, where you're going to fall into those little metal groove right there. One on the right, one on the left. And then you want to use some plywood and prop that door open just like a hood of a car. You want to locate the sensor in the back that you push through the hole. And you want to pull that through along with locate the wire and follow that wire all the way to the front. And that white box right there, mm -hmm, that's the lock sensor. Okay, so you want to um, unscrew the wires like untwist the wires on the side of the door okay and then once you untwist all the wires you're going to just take out the screw of the lock sensor and you're going to go ahead and disconnect the lock sensor all right and you're going to put a new one in now i already bought another one from amazon now as you can see it looks a little different but trust me it really works what i do is i compare the parts number with the parts number that I found on Amazon and as you can see the parts number is here which is listed and is also listed on the package now I am going to list this down below and keep in mind guys this is not sponsored I'm just telling you what happened to me and how I fixed this so I wanted to share it with y'all so maybe y'all could get the tips okay now as you can see right here I bought several different sensors from Amazon and some of them are from eBay even though they look the same doesn't mean that they work okay they don't all work so you just make sure that you go to the one that I actually listed before and showed y'all before and use those and like I said the parts number is going to be listed down below along with a link of where you can actually get the sensor now you're going to Connect the old sensor and put the new sensor in. All I ask is make sure that the door lock switch is lined up. Okay, and like I'm going to show you on this old one that I just, just, just took it out. The door lock switch needs to line up with the hole. As you can see, it needs to be able to go in and out just like this little switch right here. Okay, once you actually make sure everything is lined up and everything is screwed in and the wires are screwed in as well onto the door lock switch you're going to line the wire around the edges of the door and you're going to go ahead and twist that wire back into the twist eyes that was originally placed there you're going to take the sensor and put it back through the hole and once you put that right back through that hole you're going to make sure that you go behind the washer 
okay and reconnect the sensor and put it back in that little tab right there mm -hmm. and right behind that white drum make sure the wires are back secured once everything is insecure all the wires and everything you are going to screw back the metal piece that protect the wires as well as all six screws with the metal with the plastic covering on top of the washer then you want to plug it back in and this is where guys the magic happens you're going to take the tape off the door and you're going to make sure that everything is back exactly where it is okay the door is secure you're going to turn the machine on cross your fingers put start and this is where it actually works now guys if you like what i share please like share and subscribe if you like the content you know please turn on, turn on your post notification as always i appreciate you watching thank you so much bye